Hello, this is Steve from Peter's Leatherworks, and today's project is these 20-year-old Alden Indie Boots. These are the 405s with the canvas lining. That's how old they are. Now, the guy has um, enjoyed these thoroughly for many years, and, um, and unfortunately, it's time that we give it some love. Now, he's had these resold before, and unfortunately, they weren't done properly. You know, and um, so basically we're going to, we're going to just tear them all up, okay? Um, Restitch the toe stitching right there, clean and condition the uppers, replace the lining, most of the lining on the inside, put them new, new welts, new midsoles, new correct soles with the correct heels, and um, make it look like it's basically almost like it used to look like. All right, let's get started. All right, let's tear into these. These are called Thomas heels, okay? Orthopedic heels is also what it's called. Man, look at those nails, jeez. So that curve you're looking at right there gives you the arch supports because that curve supports the arch right here and it doesn't allow the arch to sink down. So this is called a Thomas heel. I don't know why they call it a Thomas heel, they just do. I know somebody's asking. I have no idea. I'll have to look into it. Now, whoever did these soles did a pretty good job of nailing them. But um, other than that, they spliced the sole, the old and the new, right underneath the heel. I mean, it's okay. I guess some people do that. I pref I prefer... Pref Preferably don't like to do that. Especially here when you've got a black sole and a brown original sole. When you're trying to combine both together, obviously you gotta know that it's been replaced because you can see the split joint there. So if you're gonna do it, I mean, just take it all the way. It's not a big deal. Another three inches is all it is. Might as well, because you're not gonna be able to use that back, uh, back part of the rubber sole. But to each his own, I guess. <clears throat> it's okay. We're going to completely deconstruct these anyway, so it doesn't matter what's on here now. So everything's going to go in the trash. All right, listen. So the shank seems to be in still in good shape. Old shank style. Awesome. So this is a big mess, a big, big mess. Now we're gonna make some decisions here on what to do because this is the critical point where you decide what the outcome is gonna be, you know, end outcome, I should say. <clears throat> this obviously needs to be replaced. Okay, this is the lining for the front ramp area. Now, I knew ahead of time that I had to replace that heel lining back here. Right there. So, in order to do that, I've got to unstitch the top to get to the back of that. See right here, this stitch here 
you can't see that this is stitched together first and then the top stitch goes on now a couple of issues along the way i want to replace these speed hooks problem is if you unstitch this the back piece is shorter than the front piece so if you if you glue them together it's going to be like this it's going to be too short so it's got to be glued at a curve like this, okay? But the problem there is that you can't stitch that after you replace the speed hooks, glue this together, and you got to run that stitch. You can't run that stitch with those speed hooks there. Well, maybe you can, but different feet, which I have on the patching machine, which I don't want to use. I want to use my post machine. So what I'm going to have to do is replace this piece, the back lining piece, I'm going to leave that longer, okay, about three-eighths of an inch longer than here. We'll stitch that, then we'll cut it off right at the seam. That's how the manufacturer does it. They stitch it, and then they cut it. That's why it's such a tight cut right on the edge of that seam, okay? So we've got to take the back lining apart, too. Basically, everything apart. More than what it is now, because we still have to replace the toe apron stitching here and put a new toe counter. This is the toe counter here. Where the hell did it go? This is the toe counter. See, there's a little crush in the center there. Put a new one. And also this is the heel counter. Okay. Hell, might as well replace that too since I got other parts. <sighs> Let's continue. Guess who's back? Back again. Guess who's back? Uh, tell a friend. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? The proper stirring of the coffee is vital to the success of its flavor. <laughs> and we see the creature in the wild. <laughs> He's a very dangerous creature. Well, Emperor is straight from Australia. Seconds notice, I'm going to pounce on you because he has no coffee in his system yet. All right. What's up, Christmas? We are having coffee today. It's been a while. Steve's been sick. Yeah, I've been sick. That's why my voice is a little groggy, so be patient. All right, let's continue. I'll turn it off before he spills it. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty cool, actually. Yeah, it's actually pretty cool. It's glass. Let me make food. Go ahead, you start it first. Say hello. Hello. And welcome back to Cobbler's Cafe, where cobblers and non cobblers come to enjoy great Greek coffee. <laughs> what coffee? Uh, Armenian coffee, yeah, as I was Armenian, saying. You're in an Armenian house. Great Armenian coffee. <laughs> okay, this is from John and Karen, who made this. It's made out of ceramic glass, and obviously got the picture of the little kettle there. Thank you, um, thank you very much, John and Karen. I send them a little note for appreciating, you know, the gift. So thank you so much. Welcome back. It's been about two weeks since I've had coffee because uh, I've been a little under the weather. I got the flu. Or somebody's gonna say you got COVID, man. I can't even do that voice. Damn it. Hey man, you got COVID. I probably do, but you know, it was, it was. We are alive and well. Yeah, no fever, no uh, loss of taste, uh, taste and smell. Just had a little sinus congestion right above my forehead and my forehead was a little hurting. That's what's about it. So, so I'm at the last leg of that. So it's been about, about a good 10 days, maybe about two weeks. So we're getting there. 
So this is the first for two weeks I haven't had coffee yet. Oh my god. I know. Well. It smells good. It does smell good. That's the old coffee, not the new coffee. Right. Oh, it's good. Oh, I'm Been back. A while. I am back. In a while. I have to fight off those lines of people that need work done outside. Let them wait. <laughs> We're going back in later. So Chris has been busy lately. That's why he hasn't uh, he hasn't sat down to... Mm. Where's the napkins, man? Did he give oh, you napkins? Mm-hmm. Are there any there? No. What kind of service is this, man? Damn. Sorry. Mm-hmm. This cafe sucks. It's Cobbler's Cafe, not Cobbler's Napkins. I stole a whole bunch when when ordering, so there you go. All right. This this name European Pan Amer what is it? Pan Era? What Pan Pan Era. Pan Era. Pan Era. Yeah, what the hell, man? I'm not sure what's going on over there. This is not a paid endorsement, by the way, okay? <laughs> Don't be thinking that, because I know some of you guys go, Oh look, man. Damn, I can't do the voice, Chris. <laughs> you you Damn it. <laughs> you Damn it, man. Damn it, man. <laughs> Oh, Panera didn't pay for this. We we pay for it, you know. Even though the economy sucks right now, prices are going up. Yeah, they're looking for help too. They are. Yeah, everybody's looking for help. Nobody wants to work. So for us suckers, working like dogs. Well, you don't want to shine shoes. You can just walk walk over. No, shining shoes days are done for me. How come you got? Wait a second. How come you got the scone? I don't know. I just put. I thought they were both the same. I don't know. Did they look the same to you? No. When I put my hand in, when I thought they were both, meaning like when I first, I thought, oh, maybe they're too. Um, they're mommy. too late. Oh, yeah, I have a scone. No, no. It's no, too you late. want some you scone? You touched it already. It's too I late. Touch. I just touched the corners. No, no. Nothing's. Uh, I didn't touch this. No. How about that? You no, want that? No. I touched this one. You can't have mine. That's it. Well, oh, I don't want that. That that looks ugly. Tastes good. All right. It's a cousin of that one, Chris. They're blueberry, blueberry. They're the same thing. Why don't you just order two blueberries? One scone, one muffin. Because <laughs> we won't have nothing to talk about. <laughs> anyway. So, mm-hmm. it's been a while since I did a video, which I'm, I'll incorporate this one with the next video. We don't have jokes. We didn't print out jokes today. So I hope no one was expecting well, we are the jokes. <laughs> <laughs> what more jokes are you going to get? <laughs> Middle-aged men? I know. Middle-aged men joke. Let me tell you a joke right now. Dude, we're middle-aged men. I know, man. It's crazy. Oh, my God. Middle-aged. Isn't that crazy? I think we're past middle-aged. Yeah, we are. We're, yeah. You're 55 now? Mm-hmm. And me too, 55. Wow. Holy shit. I'll be 56 in a couple of months. Oh, that's right. Coming up in May. Oh, man. oh my God! With middle age, there's some coffee. Let's. We need to put some alcohol with this coffee. Right. What do you call it? <laughs> do you have any? What do you put? Brandy. Like brandy no. or rum? No, not rum. Uh, brandy, right? Uh. What do you call with coffee? <laughs> Press, hey, my brain is already. I don't even remember what we're supposed what, to put what, in the what, coffee. They, they, have, they have the they have the coffee with like right. Irish whiskey or what? whiskey. Maybe it's like Irish. There's this, there's there's one thing that like coffee and Bailey's no, there's what the hell Irish whiskey, Irish does it, whiskey no, matter. Fuck yeah, it does. Does it matter? No, because you'll be working on something and then you'll be thinking, ah, I remember what it was now. I'll call you yeah. later. Well, yeah, like three days later, like what the hell? <laughs> we don't even have it, so it doesn't even matter. <laughs> actually, I do. Oh, I got a couple of bottles here. Mm. Nice ones, actually. But I don't know if it'll go with this coffee, though. Mm, probably not. You know what I mean? Very strong blend. Right, regular coffee, uh, they put some liquor in it, but Irish cream, no. Damn, what is that coffee with the with the with the liquor in it? Oh my god, it's Irish something. Maybe I don't Irish know. coffee, right? Maybe it's just Irish coffee. Oh my god, damn, there's Irish people it's spilling shit so everywhere. I, I can text my Irish friend. Everybody's got an Irish friend, no? I know. I don't think I have an Irish friend. And he actually already texted me for the morning. All right, well, tell him something. Let's see, let's see. Irish whiskey? This coffee's good, actually. 
I miss it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's really good actually. So next one, uh, we're gonna have that uh, that lady's uh, the tea lady. The tea lady. Okay. That David brought over. So this is the one before that. But you know what? I think my favorite is the the original one we used to drink. El, El uh, Najar, Najar, I think is what it's Najar. called. Yeah, that was. I think that's the best blend so far. I think you know? so. I don't this know one, I'm not too fond of this one. It's a little too. I don't know something about this one. I don't. Well, like. it's. I don't think the grains are powder. Mm. You know what I mean? Like the coffee grounds, not the grains. The right. grounds are not. This has got to be like fine powder, like right. baby powder. And some of them are not as ground as they should be. So that leaves that little bit of like the little taste in your mouth. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, a little so, gritty. Just, that's yeah. the word I'm looking for. Yeah, yeah it's a you know. Gritty, but that's. I'm trying to find a grinder where, because I've got a bunch of beans that I want to, I want to be able to grind. Oh, an, okay. I can't. I don't know what the machine is called that does the fine powder. Right. You know, I gotta. I gotta reach out to some people to see mm -hmm. if I can. I can figure out what machines there are. Because I got a bunch of beans. I gotta. People send me coffee. Like. But it's not ground. Yeah, I'm like, dude. What do you want me for these beans? You know, I don't have the. I don't have the ground thing. I go to Starbucks or something. Let them do it. I don't know if they would do it or not. I wonder if Northside maybe they'll grind it for you. I don't know if they'll do a fine grind. No, it's got to be a no, powder extra fine, grind, right? Man. You right. know, I don't know if that. I don't know what kind of machines they use, but that, that, that has to be like that, or else, that, or else you get that, that taste, that a little bit of tasty mouth. You know? Yeah, I was just hoping that we'd run this one out so we can move into the next. Well, yeah, we'll it'll be a while, but maybe we can blend them or something. We'll figure something out. Uh, all right, Chris, welcome back. We don't have much to say today, unfortunately. We're kind of, you know. Cobbler's Cafe. Cobbler's Cafe. Welcome to Cobbler's Cafe. <laughs> I guess we're stuck with that name now. Uh, yeah. We'll see how it goes. We'll see what. But you're not a cobbler. I mean, you know there's going to be an ass. You know, know there's going to be somebody Someone's out there. Somebody's going to be like, hey, that guy doesn't. Hey, he's not a cobbler. How can be, How you call a Cobbler's Cafe? Damn it, that voice. I got to I gotta work on <laughs> it. Well, I will call it the Cobbler and the Carpenter. Cobbler, Carpenter, Cafe? No. No, no, no. The Cobbler and the Carpenter. Why don't you just freaking learn how to fix shoes, dude? I, no, uh, no, you know why I don't learn? Because I'll be stuck here with him. Oh, no, no, he won't. Because <laughs> you're going to learn and go down the street, open up a shop, take all <laughs> my business away. That's what you're going to do. Uh, I might have done that. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> That's why people don't train people, because they're afraid they might take their business away. <laughs> don't train me, because I will try to outdo you. Well, you're a Greek. That's why. Oh, come on. Come on now, Steve. <laughs> We're tough on the same mold, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> you know what the next video is going to be? You're going to see me shining shoes while I'm making the coffee. <laughs> put, me, put me next to one of the, uh, <laughs> one of the, uh, the, well, the you polishers. Can make, you can make the coffee, <laughs> then you can do whatever you want with the shoes. <laughs> All right. I'll have the coffee and watch you while I shine shoes. All right, let's end this today. Okay. Yeah, show me if we show Paula some shoes or something. I'm All right. about. We'll see you guys again right, we'll on the next then. video. All right, take All care. Right.
every stitch that you break to take something apart, you've got to clean the old stitches. So everything that gets cleaned has to be restitched. Whoop, there goes the camera. This is a piece of crepe rubber that I use to clean the stitches with. Sometimes if they don't come out, I use the edge of the knife to pick it like that. Okay. The knife kind of scratches the surfaces a little bit, but nothing really bad because I have to go back and clean it and re-dye it, condition it anyway. Okay. This is the heel counter that we're replacing, which is that fiberboard piece back there. It was split into two. This is this is the last of my indie boot. So the back of the heel is very similar size. It's a bigger foot, but the shape is a very similar size. So. So I put this here, the leather here, and stretched it out. To get a nice heel counter out of it. Veg tan leather. And we got ourselves a heel counter. Cool, huh? All right, let's continue. All right, so now we've got the front vamp area lining apart. This is the back quarter, back of the heel lining. This is our new heel lining. I wet the leather and reshaped it in the back of the heel again, just like the, just like the heel counter. And once we remove that, we're going to make a little bit we're going to make this new piece a little bit wider to cover those holes there. I'm going to come across like that. Okay. We're going to replace those pieces too also. And then uh, the front part where the canvas, the front canvas is, we're going to replace that with nice heavy canvas. Maybe a little bit heavier than what, he's, what they've got before. So it'll be close to what it was. All right, let's continue. We're making progress. We've got the back of the heel lining. These right here. The front canvas piece. Now, the torn spot on the lining was a little bit higher than the new piece that was coming on. So I reinforced it from the back. There's another weak spot there. And it should hold fine. Now, these pieces are wider than what they were. And I'll show you guys why I did that. Everything has a reason why I do things. Now, whenever you're doing a project of this magnitude, you really should have one of these, okay? But I don't have his size. Now, is it possible to do it without a last? It's possible, but you gotta be very careful, okay? So this is the other shoe. We've got the new um, speed hooks, new eyelets, 
the toe stitched, new footbed, new gemming. Everything is there, okay? Now, you've got to be careful where whenever you're doing this, the fit shouldn't change too much. Does it change? Yes, it does change because you've got, first of all, you've got a boot you're completely disassembling and putting back there without a last. That's for number one. Second, you've got a footbed that is contoured the shape of the foot of the customer, okay? Now you've got a flat piece of leather that it's not contoured. So when you put your foot in, you're gonna feel a difference, okay? Now you gotta go through the little breaking period, unfortunately. Um, no matter how much I soften the footbed and give it some curves, it's not the same shape as, exact the same shape as a customer's foot shape, okay? But I think once it gets done completely, I think it'll be just fine. So as you guys can see, this is the other boot. We're making some progress. We're getting there slowly but surely. So it's quite a journey to disassemble a boot like that and put everything back together and, um, and make it look presentable again. But it's working out pretty good. All right, let's continue.